There's a lot of confusion in the Ubuntu world these days. First they're dropping 32-bit support completely. Then they announced they're just freezing it. Now there's an amended plan to everything. So, what in the world is going on in, with Ubuntu these days? Well, let's find out. You guys may have heard about Ubuntu dropping 32-bit support and the announcement and the backlash. I'm not going to go too deep into all that stuff because I wanted to go into what is actually going to happen. So literally Ubuntu released a statement saying that it was going to drop support and then they were going to... Uh, limit support to the current versions of 32-bit they were no longer going to update the libraries but now well of course now there are lots of problems like wine for, uh, for instance wine if anyone knows about wine wine cannot survive without 32-bit that is just the case why cannot even survive? Um, you have to literally drop the 32-bit architecture in Wine, where Wine gets a majority of its compatibility. I mean, you just would not be able to play 32-bit games written in 32-bit code on Wine, what whatsoever. And then, um, of course. Then, of course, as part of the backlash, Steam, sorry, this one, Steam, then releases this statement. Ubuntu 1910 and future releases will not be officially supported by Steam or recommended to our users. We will evaluate ways to minimize breakage for existing users, users but will also switch our focus to a different distribution currently to be determined. So Steam just completely drops them like a bad habit. And now in the aftermath of Steam here is canonical statement. 32-bit i386 packages for Ubuntu. Thanks to the huge amount of fallback this weekend from sorry feedback from this weekend from gamers, Ubuntu Studio, and the wine community. We will change our, pl our plan and build selected 32-bit i386 packages for Ubuntu 1910 and 24 LTS. I say 20.04 LTS. I'm not going to read this whole article by once, but now but they do actually include a plan to eliminate these libraries via containers. But the reason why they're doing that is right here. The facts are that most 32-bit x86 packages are hardly used at all. So they want to cut out all the unused libraries and stop supporting them. I completely think that is a good idea. Only about 20% of the currently supported libraries are actually used. So Lily, they're going to support Wine, and they're going to support Steam, and they're going to support games. That's what they're going to support. So literally, all this panic that Ubuntu is going to lose its 32-bit support is now not true. Now this is now this is subject to change at this moment, but for right now, it appears. Steam and video gaming and studios will live on in Ubuntu. So what do I suggest you do? Well I suggest you step away from the panic button. No need to panic about this. Um, 
Ubuntu support for 32-bit for right now I'll do at least 24.04 LTS is going to be supported and Steam will probably change its mind so literally I would just suggest don't bother changing your distribution right now wait a little bit see how this plays out we have till October I'd say just calm down but but form a backup plan I'll create a video of, based off of other distributions that'll be good for gaming and other things that will have 32-bit support in a later video thank you for watching the penguin revolution please subscribe hit that thumbs up if you like this video if you didn't like it go ahead that's what the thumbs down button is for go ahead and subscribe and keep the conversation rolling in the comments because I'd love to hear them. have a nice day and I'll see you in the next one